Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 109 and a return to Let's Play Starfield. I have not played in a bit, but I wanted to talk a little bit before starting this episode. First of all, I hope you guys are well and having a great time wherever or whenever you may be. I'm kind of coming to you from the past into the future, which is now the present. Because if we look at my time scale here, it is May 18th. And by the time you guys see this, it's going to be way past May 18th. So truly in the spirit of Starfield, we're doing some tricksy scientific time traveling here, guys. So you're traveling to the past. I'm traveling to the future to meet you here in the present. How about that? <laughs> but uh, seriously, though, guys, um, the May patch just dropped. So we're going to be checking it out here. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea, guys, of how I make videos and Let's Plays and stuff. Like, I like to strike when the iron's hot and I'm, what, like, motivated. So if I get real motivated, I could bang out 100 episodes very quickly. And that's the only way that my channel exists, because if I didn't do it that way, I would make three episodes of every LP if I had to go by, like, a schedule. It just wouldn't work for me. So um, starting out here, though, guys, let's go to settings for a second and see what the May patch, you know. Now, unfortunately, that means, like, you're just now seeing the May patch, you know, but I don't know. That's just how I got to work. So hopefully, you know, that's not too uh, bad for you guys. And you still want to check it out with me. So what I want to do, actually... I don't even know what options have been added. There's been... Okay. Wow. A lot has been added. And this is wild. Wow. Oh my gosh. Sustenance? Food and drink grant sustenance effects? There's negative, like malnourished and dehydrated. So basically, they're like making survival type modes. Oh my gosh. Cargo access distance. Wow. Ammo weight. This is crazy. This is crazy. So we're not going to get into that, though. Simply because... We already have a playthrough going here, and it's on... What difficulty are we playing on? Uh, it was hard, but now I don't know what it is. Um, there's bindings, there's audio. So that's 85. Accessibility. Toggle iron sights. Okay, but, um, yeah, this is crazy. We already have a playthrough going, so I don't know if we want to kind of reinvent the wheel at this point. Um, put on heart. Well, we're going to get bonus XP, I guess. Player combat damage. Maybe hard. Enemy ship damage, normal. Player ship damage, normal, because that's more hard. Like, that's more difficult for me. Ammo weight. Yeah, I want to kind of turn that on. I mean, I would turn, I would, you know, go pretty hardcore with these carry capacity. I'm gonna say normal cargo access distance, normal vendor credits, normal medical item healing. Okay, food healing. Food restores normally. Sleep healing. Wow, you could really get into this sustenance. 
combat affliction gain, environmental damage, aim assistance. Wow. I don't know. Weighted ammo might be a little too much for, for us right now, but we'll just put, you know, the basics on. Combat hard. I think we'll roll with that. All right. Let's see what is, is up. Loading Aquila here. I actually haven't played in a while. So it's kind of be like a new game for me. It's kind of be that's Mo that's Olympus Mons right there, isn't it? On Mars. Okay. Boom, son. Instantly I noticed the game looks absolutely gorgeous. We're in Aquila, of course. It feels a bit smoother. Wow. Oh, it's, I mean, it's like responsive as heck. Wow. Um. I think we were going to come to this guy and get a mission. Look at these, uh... I'm noticing changes in the graphics, like... And they look beautiful. Wow, look at that shadow effect. That's like real. Oh my gosh. I think we're in the quest room here. Or we got one? Hello there. So good to see you. Um... Oh yeah, we're with uh, Omi Joe, I think his name is. Can you tell me about the core? The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Right, the Coes. Okay, we'll get into Frank Langston. Um, let's ask, where can I get a drink around here? You've got a few choices there. The cantina in the rock is famed throughout the settled systems for serving the best brew that credits can buy. The hitching post ain't been open long, but most folks seem to like it. If you're looking for a quick drink before moving on, give it a try. Aggie's is a bit of an acquired taste, you might say. <laughs> folks who prefer a venue that's a little more rough and tumble tend to feel at home there. Like uh, I said, lots of options. Um, Why does the city need a wall around it? You really are new around here, aren't you? <laughs> Aquila's every bit as dangerous as it is beautiful. There are creatures out there that pose a mortal danger to anyone caught out in the open. Foremost among them is the Ashtar. They're quick, strong, clever, and damn good hunters. Right, the Ashtar. I tell you more, but you might not sleep so good. Thankfully, the wall keeps them out. As long as you stay on the right side of it, you've got nothing to worry about. Huh, what's the tall building in the center of town? Ah, you must be referring to The Rock. It's home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers are headquartered in the upper floors. Right. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say... I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. <laughs> what about Midtown? Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core, because it was built later as the city grew. Oh. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite as much space, but it's cheaper, so it all works out. All right, now tell me about Frank Langston and your problem. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hussanov Manor, and he's the worst, simply the worst. Huh. But it's been a problem since the Hussanov family ran out of heirs. There's no wrong the Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. What's so wrong with Frank Langston? He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack. Full of himself and just awful. I mean, the core is history itself. Cads like him don't belong here. 
<laughs> if your credits are good, I might be able to oblige. Of course, of course. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate. Built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. Wow. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. Wow. Can you tell me about the Hossanovs? The Hossanovs were one of the early families that took to making a living in space. Very industrious, mainly miners. They settled planet side in the earliest days of Aquila City. They helped good old Solomon Co. a time or two, but they didn't fare well living in full gravity after a couple of generations in zero G. Lots of health issues. Huh. Eventually, a string of just terrible luck left only lonely old Sahar Hassanov. Poor lady. And those that were healthy kept leaving Aquila. The call of the stars. Sounds like the poor old Sahar wanted to go out on her own terms. A lot of folks thought the same. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. Wow. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. That sounds great. If it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. <laughs> How will finding her will change anything? Sahar left no heirs, no instructions. So everything the Hassanovs owned was in limbo. What happened to the estate? Well, you'd have to be a lawyer to make heads or tails of it. Huh. But eventually it wound up on the open market, so slick neon corporate shills could grace our community. If she named any heir, we could get the estate back where it belongs. See things made right. Happy to help you, Mr. Cartwright. You are a blessing. Zahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, Please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Huh. Be careful. And look out for yourself. Oh man, that is awesome. Now guys, my second playthrough is going to have to have some of these options turned on. I heard the map has been improved. Let's check the surface map. How do we do it? G? Oh my gosh. A surface map that is usable. A usable surface map, son. We can make sense of it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's amazing just in itself because that uh that surface map used to be pretty crazy. Okay, so she's down in the in the poles. Frozen plains. Wow. Huh. Oh, this is so crazy. I love it. Back out a little bit more and see if this has changed. Okay, you can wazzy around. We're in uh, Cheyenne. There's planets we haven't even discovered yet. Yeah, I would love to set up like Trident Luxury Lines. I'd love to set up um, special difficulty options and stuff. Because that's more of my kind of thing. But I don't know if I would just in the middle of a let's play. Uh, playthrough basically or a let's play really all right let's get back to the oh we should check our inventory and see if anything's changed there oh i hit i how do i just there we go wait 24 hours for keone to collect her data let's check out our ship everything's snappier our ship is looking the same <laughs> i was gonna say good but no not really looking good. Um, very cool though. We can check our crew. Yeah. 
Andromeda Kepler we have at the f on the frontier. Current outpost we have Heller and Lynn. Although I don't know if they got there yet. We've got these homies on the ship. Of course, Sarah's there. That's all oh, the Jemison outpost, right? At Alpha Centauri. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, Dogstar. Oh, that's a tor toroidal reactor. I see. Wow, that's just a generic, I guess. Light Scythe, Relodyne, Sextant Shield Systems. So cool. And if we press X to inspect. Yeah, we can just do that. Cargo hold. We do have a, quite a lot of mass in the cargo hold. It's mostly resources, though. Like this stuff, I swear, all has a purpose. <laughs> it does, just... I don't know where else to stick it. We have to drop it at an outpost, make a haul to an outpost, and then just drop a bunch of it, but I don't know. It gets messy. It gets messy. Um, missions, star map. Let's check the missions. <clears throat> missions, we have a billion of them, son. We sold to visit Cairo. Wow, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. Wow. I didn't even realize we picked up all those activities. Find new stories. Top of the list, survey a habitable planet. Yeah, we haven't surveyed that yet. We'd have to survey it like, like this planet, Aquila. Go to Neon. Pick up a package from Red Mile. Ryogen Industries. A neon. Solomon's map. Here we go. Pointing us to a cave inside of Shogang territory on the frontier of Aquila. Travel to the empty nest. So we. Sam Co. That's who's with us. Sam, not Joe. Sarah asked me to go to the eye. The terror more if we can't do that. The boot. Dispose of a pair of boots. Sending a distress call. Oh, there's so much cool stuff to do. Beer run. The guard said that Sarah Philburn was arguing with her brother Henry about something. The guard said Mr. Tate has been trying to help the people of the stretch. Marco Jansen moved to Aquila City and has just been just stuck. Desperate, hoping I can contact his wife's cousin. Melena Axelrod to see if she can throw some work their way. Melena is a merchant and her ship is in the Aquila system. All right, we're going to do this Frank Livingston, Livingston thing because this is cool. And if we show that on map, of course, it's going to send us... Well, it didn't send us, but down there, we can travel right away. I think we lose some of the discovery just traveling right away, but I mean, that's how the game is designed. Check up here if anything. I mean, things probably change that I just have no knowledge about. We have no skill points to spend, so. Oh, I'm just bringing back to me how cool this game is. That I haven't played in a while. It is so snappy and nice. The Prime? That's my gun. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I feel like textures themselves have gotten an upgrade. Look at that now. Everything looks different to me. Oh, I can just right click and spin it. Look at how beautiful that is. That's a shoddy. Wow, colors just seem to pop a lot more. I don't know if that's just my laptop or what, but K 
Okay, we're not carrying too much mass. Do we have stuff to get rid of? Those lucky boots. You cannot equip this item. Hopefully I can drop it. That quest is over. We have some resources. We can send these, I think, to... Uh, let's do that now. Send it to the frontier. Yeah, I wouldn't want to limit, you know, too much. But I mean, it could. I mean, it could be fun. It would be fun, actually, to limit because limitations bring, you know, more, more uh, fun, basically. I don't think we can drop the resources. Can I? I have to be closer to my ship, so that's pretty cool. So actually, there's us, by the way. Wow, I'm running. But walk is a bit too slow. But run is full sprint, baby. Wow, run is fast. Another day, another ship. Indeed. Everything is so smooth and. Man, located. I do not want to go outside the city. Why are we just discovering these places? I've discovered them all before. The shadows and dynamic lighting look so good. How's my flashlight? Whoops. I forget the flashlight. F. There we go. Well, it looks a bit more useful in the dark. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I want to go drop these resources off. Can I do it from here? We'll figure out how close we have to be. Resources, there we go. Store. Store all T. Boom. Alright, so let's see what else has changed. I want to kind of just go to space and... Hey there. Hello. Sorry. Spaceport's all the way to the Is that chirping? Trade Authority Kiosk. Do we have anything? Oh, let me look again. 77 notes. Yeah, I feel we have some of these books that we can pitch. We definitely have a few books. of space and time. We have 53,000 credits. Forty-four digipics. Okay, nothing really there. I guess we're just carrying too much aid probably. All this stuff is really adding up. Huh. Cool though. Add a crone. Wow. And we're also huh, carrying a bunch of guns, a bunch of grenades. All right, let's get on the menus here. Whoa, what happened? Oh, my eyes just kind of snapped to the sun. What not? Wow.
distant objects look great. <clears throat> Let's check out our ship. Smell again back into the harness. <laughs> Want to shoot the breeze? Oh, Heller. Back, eh? How's it going? Hey, Sarah. Heller, we have to drop off at a spaceship. Hey, Cora. It's always good to see a friend. Along with Andromeda, basically. Sure, I would be happy to chat. Wow. <laughs> I put that in that port port view let's see what we've got here wow that's different that's cleaned up is that anything no navigation console research station let's see how our research is doing Helmet Mods 3, can we do anything with? We have one of those things, so not really. And Magazine and Battery Mods, Crypt and Stock. We have no adhesive and, yeah, no adhesive. We have 28 Iridium, 13 of that, 1 zero wire. <coughs> see what else I thought there was a way to beautify the interior of the ship too now I don't know how that's done though wow this feels like you're stepping into decorate there it is right there wow of course we already have these Bridge. Storage stuff. Huh. Wow. Hanging rug. Plays. Oh my gosh. Put weapons on weapon. Ooh, weapon racks in here would be pretty awesome, actually. Where can we put them like. That's the thing. Where the heck do we put the stuff? We need the wall space. Something we're lacking is wall space. <laughs> Gonna like throw one up there. Sam and uh, what was his name? Well, I guess one is all we need, so let's build that. There was any self service bounty clearance. Oh my gosh, you can put that on your ship? That is so cheating. We don't have the zero wire anyway. Let's come here, and maybe it's time to make a decision. Let's put some weapons down. Like, uh... Maybe the this store that. There she is. <laughs> cool. Hello, Captain. Oh, Andromeda. Dope. This is dope. Extremely dope. Let's try to take off and uh. If you need something. This is named Barry. Starts with a B. Oh, pardon me. Barrett. 
That was your stomach. I'm well fed, sir. A moment. We have the cargo hold. We have trick shot there. Let's grab trick shot. Which is actually a crazy pistol. We threw a bunch of stuff in here. What is all this stuff doing in here? Oh, this is our. That's our, uh. Cargo holds. <laughs> it's the whole cargo. Let's go put the weapon back where it belongs. Put it right here. Can we put it here. Trick shot. Trick shot's actually pretty nasty. 67 physical damage on that. Depleted uranium. 30 range. Every fourth shot fires two projectiles at once. We'll put it up here. The rest of the weapons. So that's pretty nifty. Quick save. Lay it on me. We're headed to space, guys. The pilot seat, yeah, everything's very snappy. and looks that different. Stable orbit achieved. We can stay here forever. Well, for a while anyway. There's the planet. Now the sad thing about this is that the flying is still pretty much pointless unless you're talking to another ship or fighting. Trader Atlas. What does that mean, Trader Atlas, I wonder? Freestar Mustang, huh. I should hail them and see what we can do with them. Settler Econo Hall. Freestar Mule, wow, cool. we can hail all these guys. I wonder for what, let's hail him. Acknowledge. Wow, piracy? We can trade? Heard anything interesting? Yeah, this woman who worked a graveyard shift for Hope Tech, the shipbuilder. Said they're serious taskmasters. Guess you don't get that successful by being inefficient. Hope Tech? That's supposed to be like a. hopeful. Money on offer. If your credits are good. Wow, we can trade from ship to ship. That's all they have? We have 28 of these. Let's buy. Now what's sell? Oh wow, we can sell them anything. What about our cargo hold though? Sell from Frontier, yes. I don't want to sell Grand Grand Spacesuit though. Um let's just stop being a hoarder, really. Get rid of that. Even though it's nasty. There we go. Um, ammo we don't need. Weapons. We have old earth shotgun. Really don't know why I'm keeping that. Sir Livingstone's pistol. Our dad got us that. But the old earth shoddy. I don't know, it's a cool relic. Traded as antique. But, oh, I think I just sold it by accident. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but we'll do it. This calibrated thing, uh, what's the point? Sell it. Oh, you'll get less? He only has 200 credits? Uh, take it anyway. Um, he doesn't have that many credits, so... I guess that's that. But interesting stuff. Very cool. And we could potentially 
hail, like, hail any of these guys. That is wild. Aquila. Oh, open planet map with our... We'll come down here to Sarah's farm, or Sahara's farm. Man, yeah, everything is so much snappier. I don't know how they did it. Touching down. This is on max settings yet. Well, I don't know what's going on here. Things First shim. step on a new world for life and the unknown. There's the Ashta. Ready, Sam? Say your prayers, pal. Don't need a gun to take you out. Why is he? Oh, this is happening. He doesn't have a gun. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? Level 19, but why, Sam? Charter gang for strong arm types. Robbery, assault, murder. You know. Oh, I can spin you around even. I thought I did. I might have what you need. What happened to your gear? Yeah, oh, I forgot to equip it on. No, don't take it. That back. I have to hit equip on him. We sent him that and did not equip it with B. And let's also go to. Let's just hit all. And. I guess we'll use it now. There he goes. Take it easy. Look, you're going to beat them up, really? Oh, I should have. Oh, I can still scan it. Or maybe not. Scan that one. Abandoned Zamo's scrapyard. Wow, there's cobalt. Antimicrobial, we need that. Bone nutrient. Where'd the other one go? Another antimicrobial. Now that I remember, I played with this scanner on a lot. I want to say they degraded the graphics in a way, but. Chill hook. But not in like a really bad way. It's just a way that. They altered them somehow. And I feel like before they were more next gen, where now they look a bit last gen in a way. I don't know. It's still beautiful, it's just different looking. Chill hook. Harvest toxin toxic sap. Nothing to be afraid of. Cobalt. Storage crate. Paramagnon semi metal wafer. That's nice. Aluminum. Benzene. Can't quite scan it. This picks up everything, right? Storage box. Drink pack water. Gravity is so high on this planet. Wow. Scan that one. Let's come up here. 
here. <laughs> uh, Synthameat Multi, which is best animal protein blend. The Settled Systems Premier Synthetic Meat Product. Storage box with three sedatives. Nice. Now that's a fi find. I do say so. See, this thing does not miss a trick. Stimulate. Wow. All the good stuff around here. Oh my gosh. Don't do drugs, kids. I'm just joking. Not about that. About the that being the stimulant being good stuff and such. All right. Anyway. What do we got here? Oh, another Ashta. And they're level 15. That's a little bit more of a dangerous Ashta. There's liquid water on this planet. Elk. Cran God. It's level 10 Ashta. A golden creeper. Lots of stuff to scan, but I, I'm scared. Can't get up there. That'd just be too rough. Um, go check this one. Are we getting into too dangerous territory here? Oh, lots of stuff here. Benzene, seven structural material. Come on, I'd use Ashtas. There's some water. We have all six resources, huh? Now we just need ten. Fauna and five flora. 355 credits. Oh my goodness. Calm relay. Yes, yeah, Sam, you might want to watch down there, buddy. Remember what they said about the Ashta? Why those people live behind a wall, Sam? A lot of wall between them and the Ashta. I don't want to get too close. Anyway, I don't see anything moving in this direction. Did I get that? Yeah. Yes, we did. Argon. Gas. Strange thing called the frontier. All right. Sahara's farm. Oh, it's going that way. Storage box. Seventy-seven credits and five sealant. I don't see any movement in there. Worker. I can't loot you. What are you doing in a cage, sir? Calm relay. Uh, what the heck? Oh, just bones and stuff. Blue Labor Jumpsuit Reactive Gauge. Invasive Carousel Filterer. <clears throat> you guys are invasive. Raisin Bran Cereal. Goes the, spoils. The, spo right, right? the spoils of Raisin Bran Cereal. I love it. Nutrient Tissue. Can always use that. Oh, 
shit. Yeah, chill her. There we go. Oh. Bag pressure tank. Chlorine. That's probably good. Yeah, we'll have to explore this planet like just whoa. Just explore it one time. And map it. Oh, save it boy. Hello. Hello, hello. Got salute everywhere. 80 credits, three antimicrobials, we need those. I don't know if I'm going to grab anything that's not crafting. Double man whiskey in a box. Chicken chunks. Chunks chick. Uh. Oh, sealant. Sealant. Hyper catalyst. Wow. Metabolic agent. Take those. I still don't see any movement. Sent the meat and veal. Yeah, I'll take that. Pears, potato, plums. Gonna see Sam take a load off. I'm gonna be a while. Oh, that's a nice knife. Real nice knife. These little vials of gold, liquid gold. So it's a drink pack. Well, they're clearly doing work on aliens here. Reported credits. Wires full? No. I don't think they're useful. Crafting, are they? Sahar. Oh, there's the will. Let's grab that, though, whatever that is. Sparkling water. Let's grab the will. Talk to Elias Cartwright. Huh, we didn't get jumped. Is it safe to take stuff, I wonder? Who's whiskey? Or the fortune? Wait. That's all this place is, it's just this little room. Huh. Alright, well, let's grab the. Valuables, I guess. You know the vials, you know me. <laughs> Sam's not happy. He's like, we gotta go through this. It's under there. Oh, TP. Stuff under there, if I could just grab it. Vacuum tape, which is not adhesive. Sadly, let's see that uh, item we picked up. Is it a weapon? Is it new items? Where is it? There it is. Technician space truckers balance pack minus fifteen percent damage from robots, and it's balanced. Uh, sellable. Worth a thousand, that's pretty nice. And I guess there's just nothing else here. We'll grab, I don't know. The chunks chicks go for a hundred a pop. Yeah, we'll take those. And we'll take, that's it. Not gonna stoop as low as taking the dinner plates this time. Not this time, game. Alright, I think we found everything though. You know, 
bet they like to hide stuff. Storage box. Right here. No. Look at that. Tablet. Oh, festive neon city poncho. It's worth money. Come down to this level. This way. Oh, sunrise. something that's it we got the will oh snap let's get a picture of this baby look at this thing hello whoa oh I just threw a grenade time to get medieval and he just punched. Wait, there's a whole lot of them. Scan them. Scan them. You gotta get up close. I didn't mean to kill them, but... Why is he punching? Does he need ammo or something? Sam, buddy. The Aquila Frontier is home to the Ashton. The Predator. Razor sharp teeth. That's one of the big reasons the city has those walls. Yeah, don't remind me. I wouldn't say no to a gift. All right, Sam, I gave you this. It takes heavy fuses. Oh, I'm going to have to give him heavy fuses. Almost certain. Heavy particle fuse, baby. Take all 278 of them. Wait. Whip. All right, now you've got ammo. Next time. Don't punch everything. That was wild, though. A little herd of elk cragnon, and then one charged me. And Sam threw a grenade in my direction. <laughs> Love it. Just play around out here a little bit. It's fun. Man, how close I gotta get to these things to scan them sometimes. Oh. Nutrient leaf. Box over here. to this golden creeper. Loosen the gin. Wow. Engineering outfit. This is our goal, kind of. Oh, Ashta. We can actually make this for a purpose, and I don't like how close we got it. He's hiding or something from the Ashta. Oh, 
something's going on here. Some sort of interaction. Is there any more of them? What is it doing? Are they talking to each other? is wild. I thought they would prey on them. I didn't scan this. Toxin. Double helix carbon based life form. Let's go in this direction. Cold cave dental. Where are you again? Nutrient. You're edible. Back to the frontier. We haven't even... Unexplored ecological feature? It does have two question marks that would knock a question mark off. We can knock these chill hooks off of what were they again? Toxic. Just one more of these. These chill hooks. We've got something. XP, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> XP everywhere. <clears throat> the Ashta are not quite as nasty as I thought they'd be. Seem to even study you, you a little bit and leave you alone. It's an interesting find. Now these elk. Man, there's just little things to see and do. Drink pack OJ. Reactive gauge. Sealant. Ugh. Oh, anchor and immobilizer. A reinforced immobilizer for particularly bad injuries. Cool. We go up here a little ways. What is that? Not the ship? No, 424 credits, my goodness. A biosuppressant, exotic. Just chilling there. And we're finding the goods. Nickel, I don't know if we need nickel. We come this way though. Close enough to scan them. Come here. Come here. Why can't I scan you? I already scanned you. What am I doing? There was that big thing. I guess that was our ship, right? Yeah, Frontier. Aluminum. I'm done this way a bit. Scan you. 
Huh. I think we got that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get you. 81 credits. See, this is the new type of gameplay that... And they're still together over there. That Bethesda envisioned players having. The scanning of planets and... Exploring these tense planets. Like... It's different than a dungeon crawl. It's more open. But it's also less active a bit. Oh my gosh, they have flying leeches? That's insane. That's a nightmare is what that is. Holy cow, that's the first flying creature we've encountered. And I would hate to encounter more of them. My skin is crawling. water what's making that noise they're wary come on I want to scan you It's like crazy. You're on this alien planet and it's so well realized that you're just like creeping around and scanning stuff, doing field work. Picking hallucinogenic leaves off of plants. Now argon metal makes up the ground in this biome. We're heading toward an electrical substation. Oh, we're about to get XP from the Kragnons. What? Why is that one so big? Let's see if you can get any vid reception. I'm missing my stories. <laughs> Wow, they grow to be big boys. Crawling. Wait, I can scan it. Europe. Eurypterid. Eurypterid. These things are so weird. They just sit and. Well, I guess they just act like an elephant or something. Kind of just stand there. Whoa. It's not getting too close. Oh, there goes an Ashta. Ashta are misunderstood, even. Feel. And I still don't want to get too close to them. Oh, wow. Did we make our way back? I think we did. Huh. Yeah, we're heading toward the frontier here. I don't want to, though. Yeah, we were up here. Where were we? No, four metabolic agents. We're not up here. Nice atomic to coolant. Ooh. Chunks cola. Antimicrobial, we need those. Make drugs. K. 
gems. Get a little stuffy. I apologize, guys, but this is so freaking cool. Make our way to a unexplored ecological feature. Oh, I just saw another one of those leeches. You don't want those to come on you all of a sudden. Now we'll go to other biomes around here and there'll be more different types of creatures and stuff. We've only scanned two flora, one fauna. So it's all about the fauna here. Still, we can come in this direction. Yeah, pretty sure we were here, right? No, 428 credits, Frontier Attire, Settler Comfort Wear. What? There's this stuff all over. Boom pop reactor. Ah. Uh. Look at this alien planet. Wow. And I see those freaking leeches in the sky. That is so nuts. Guys, what are you thankful for today? Did you pick? I'm thankful for the loved ones in my family. Oh. Just want to scan you, girl. Oh, we in for a we in for a battle. What blew up? Okay, good. He's using his weapon. I want to scan you. I can't scan you. You already scanned. It's a microbial in his carapace. Sometimes. Yes, you can. You can also do research. Well, that gets that ash to that was creeping around, but as I was saying, thankful for my loved ones and my family, but also thankful for video games. Because despite what some people may say, I think video games can be really important in one's life and do good things. Look at these things. Golden Creeper. Those are the hallucinogens, the, the pods on the head. Head pods. I don't know their proper term. We, we discovered them. Heck, call them head pods. I want all the hallucinogens we can carry. Good for making chems with. Well, guys, this has been utterly fascinating. I hope you're enjoying as well. Um, I'm guessing that time is probably up on our episode as we make our way to this unexplored ecological feature. Let's pause the game for a sec. Um, whoop. Pause the game. Oh my gosh, we're a minute nine in. Time has totally melted away. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to wrap it here, guys. So, Wow. I am mind blown at that. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, really appreciate y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please consider hitting the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, not only does it let me know that you care, but it also does a great, great thing for this video, this series, and my channel as a whole. Very gnarly. Military post. Um, that said, you can also leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell. But only do any of those things if you really want to. No pressure at all. Guys, these things are peaceful. The scanner is Constellation's best friend. They're flying leeches, but they're peaceful. So I guess if they're peaceful and not like, you know, want to suck your eyeballs out type flying leeches, then I guess, you know, they can live. Plus my shot, my shoddy wouldn't reach all the way up there. 
we're coming up on an ecological future. Oh my gosh. Anyway, guys, I gotta wrap it up. Look at this. The sun's about to come up. Catch the sunrise. Oh, it is the sunrise. Wow. I'm gonna take a screeny. Yep. Full screen, baby. Alright, so yeah. Um, only do any of those things, guys, that I said. Like, subscribe, comment if you really want to. No pressure. It's all good. Um, that said, I hope you'll join me next time with more. We're going to watch the sun come up more. Oh, it is up, looks like. And uh, yeah, we're going to explore some of the sunlight as well as this arc ecological feature. So cool. Hope to see you guys then. Until then, guys, be well, live well, stay well. And much love, peace, and joy. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.